time, like you go around and people are like, Dwight! Like I'll be in airports and be like, Dwight, it's Dwight! Hey Dwight, it's Dwight! <laughs> it's like, really, I do play a character named Dwight, but that's not my name. And it's like, it's so weird to think about, you know, uh, people calling you by your fictional name that you play. Uh, but uh, I really wanted people to get to know me as a person because there's a lot more sides to me than just playing the role of Dwight. And so that was important to me. But it's a weird thing because if you overstay your welcome on the social networks, like people just get to know you as the guy who twitters, you know, um, and not as an actor. And it's a, it's a weird thing between walking that line and celebrity of uh, being, you know, being known, but you don't want to, you know, tweet every time that you, you know, uh, every time you're peeing, or yeah. you know, what's your email? I, I have some celebrity. Burrito? Some celebrity. You're very funny on Twitter. I have some celebrity friends who I follow on Twitter, and it's and I, I mock them behind their backs because it's uh, <laughs> it's really like just woke up, eating eggs, you know, driving on my way to work, you know, here, you know, shooting for 12 hours, and just it's just every little minute aspect of their lives with absolutely nothing to do with anything that I, I care about yeah. and um, and so I think but but I do think that for us Twitter and Facebook and these the all these things um, are very useful to a movie like this because we don't have the types of budgets to be sure. putting TV commercials on the air and so the people that are going to be at the theater tonight I, I would say a good percentage of them know about it through me and rain and Ellen tweeting about it yeah and um, for a movie like this that is a small film and doesn't need to have a billion people go to the theater to make it a hit, but needs to have some people go to the theaters to make it a hit. Um, it, it makes all the difference in the world. I think on a movie like Transformers, Twitter is just a, you know, it's a drop sure. in the bucket of how important it really is. But for a movie like this, it's extremely important. I mean, it's, it's really interesting because IFC sent over the list of like, it's platforming. You know, it starts in New York and LA and then it goes the next weekend to San Fran and Philadelphia and Boston and Chicago and Austin and Dallas and it goes out like that. But um, it, you see the actual theaters and their addresses when it's opening at what time and stuff. And like, we actually really need people to go to yeah. the Landmark 15 in Minneapolis on April 8th yeah. and sit down and buy $10 tickets and buy lots of popcorn yeah. when they're there and to tell their friends via yeah. Facebook to actually go, it's actually really important for our movie. So it's yeah. this weird, it's yeah. this weird thing um, where it's like for, and, it, and it's very exciting because like, like James said, like no one got paid anything on this. We didn't really have trailers. We had little honey wagons, dirty, filthy little, gross, smell, Louisiana smelling little places to change clothes, and then, uh, Yeah, it smells like Louisiana. You just, you just kill when you went in and go change It smells like Louisiana. And, and, I didn't mean that. I mean, it smells like Louisiana. It smells amazing. It smells like... 